Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and all my viewers. I'm so delighted to be sharing your precious time with you, this precious moment. Well, have you heard of how I came to the anointed conference with Bishop Daguard Mills, who is the convener? It used to be Give Thyself Holy Conference. If you have not heard, I have good news for you this precious moment. With me here in the studios is none other but one of God's generals in this country, Ghana. A very good friend of the convener and the brainchild of this wonderful conference. With me here is Reverend Steve Mensa, the general overseer of CEM, Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry. Reverend Steve, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really, really delighted to have you in my studios. I'm delighted to, to be here. I'm Thank you to be very, here. very much for honoring our invite. Thanks. 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 I'm very happy. Reverend Steve, yeah. how I came to be anointed is right here. Okay. Um, it used to be formally Give Thyself Holy Conference. Um, I want to find out what is the expectation? What are your expectations? I think that uh, I'm not expecting anything overly different because since the beginning of this conference, it started like 2004. I'm, I'm the first day, the first day and the first conference, I, I, I was there. Wow. Yes, and I have been part of the conference over the past, I don't know how many years now we've been doing it. And every year, is just mind-blowing. Mm. I've never seen two conferences the same before. Mm. And it has always impacted the lives of many, many people around the globe. I mean, talk about, I mean, when it, it used to be at uh, North Carnation, by 5.30 in the morning, up to 6 in the morning, mm. the place is full to the rafters. Jam, jam, jam already. And uh, sometimes I generally I ask the prophet, are you are you a machine or what? <laughs> because he would teach from morning mm. till morning. Mm. You know, he would teach for hours and all that. And his teachings are very profound, very powerful, very impactful. People would travel from all over the world. I remember one particular year, a, 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 an aeroplane full of pastors from Kenya came. Yeah. Yes, and some other countries yeah. all over Nigeria, every coast, name it England, USA, everywhere. So uh, I don't see anything unless the prophet is going to do something extraordinarily different. But it's going to be the teaching, the impartations, the exhortations, the connecting of many, many uh, of his partners across the world. And every year, God gives him a unique theme mm. that carries the conference to another level. Mm. So. Um, uh, as usual, I will expect that this year too, God will give him a team, especially this time around. Everybody is looking out for what team is going to bring. Because this year, I think that it will be a quite a different one because of so many things happening around the world, globally, ministerially, mm. personally, by himself, mm. and all that. So I'm looking at the angle he's going to come from. And I know one thing for sure. He doesn't miss the target that God has set for him. Hallelujah. It will be powerful. Mm. There will be a lot of teachings. Mm. It will be interpreted in the, in the, in, into French. Many of the people in the Francophone countries are going to come. Mm. I have one lady who was supposed to be coming from the uh, Philippines, but I hear she passed. Oh, no. Yeah, because she told me that she wants to even come and live here. Wow. To attend, uh, uh, I think, uh, Bishop uh, Ramos or something oh. from the Philippines. Sorry to hear that. Yes. So she's she's Bishop's friend mm -hmm. because I didn't know her from anywhere. Mm -hmm. But I mean, she came, I met her in Nigeria and she told me that she's close to the prophet. So I, I hosted her here uh, in my house here for a day or two before she left for the Philippines and promised to be at this conference. She's not missing it for anything. Wow. So people will be coming from everywhere, wow. everywhere. And it's going to be wow. very powerful. Wow. But I thank God for him for one thing. He has built the logistics mm -hmm. to accommodate uh, the people but as usual our numbers are going to overwhelm the place i know yeah so i'm sure we'll make provisions all around uh man point and other places to accommodate uh, the excess and numbers wow yeah wow wow awesome 
So, Reverend Steve, you mentioned earlier on that you started from the right from the inception of the conference when it was Ion Sharpened Ion. Ion. Yes, that's the word. Ion Sharpened Ion. ISI. Before one day, said Steve, I'm changing the ISI. So I said, people confuse it with ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> They will come after me. <laughs> so I took the, that name away and then he brought the Give Thyself give Holy thyself Conference. Holy. That's what we have traveled for so many years. Yeah, now. over a long to, period. Yes, how I came to be anointed. Mm. I think how I came to be anointed really fits mm. the purpose of that meeting because everybody comes from everywhere in the world to be imparted upon, to mm. go and do better. Uh, so well, I think that, you know, the prophet doesn't just daydream. Yeah. Every time he hears from God, and it's always on point. Beautiful. Yeah. Reverend Steve, so throughout the conferences that you have attended, you know, what are what among the conferences, you know, which of it have impacted your life greatly? I mean, if you can remember, I mean, if you can rake through your mind. I'm sure there's a particular conference that the impact was so visible and you would want to share it with our viewers. I'm trying to remember uh, which one because like a certain architect said, they asked him which of the buildings you have designed is the best. <laughs> he said the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the next one. So, all the previous ones have been very impactful. Yeah, it's like, it's like I don't know how old are you, you are now. I'm I'm 50 years. I'll be 51 50 this year. Okay. Mm. Now you can't remember particularly the food you ate, which really impacted you. I love that. <laughs> you see? I really love so that analogy. So you've eaten all kinds of food, even though you can't remember them exactly. vividly. It has exactly nurtured your growth up mm. to 50 years. Yeah. But everything you have eaten has helped. Yeah. So the messages that the prophet has preached, I can't pinpoint a particular one that I'll say this one was the one. All of them. I mean, when you sit and listen to him, I mean, you know, when somebody is speaking after 45 to one hour, I'm tired of listening to you. <laughs> but he, he will sustain exactly. and suspend the teaching for hours and you will still be listening And the amazing bit is that you are always excited to listen. Yes. I mean, it's like you don't grow weary, yes, you don't yes, get tired yes, yes, of yes, listening yes. to him. But one of the one of the early ones that I, I think I can remember is the message of the cross. Mm. He, he had a, those days it was cassettes, mm. so the whole pack. I, I remember buying it. That's about 2005 wow. or so. And then he preached on the power of the cross. Wow. Oh, wow. that's too much. Reverend Steve, is it because of how passionate you are in the area of evangelism because i know that you also do evangelism yes you know so uh, yes could and that have contributed immensely it's contributed immensely because his angle the angle he came and looked at the cross was different from the way i saw it wow because the whole conference wow. was about the message on the cross wow and he broke it into pieces mm. he dissected it mm. and then he linked the cross to evangelism mm. so i think that made that that i think 2005 2000 was one of the best to, to, to today i consider it as the best wow. uh, 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 uh iron sharpened i will give myself or whatever you want to wow. yeah because even when i finished when he finished it they later on produced a whole album hmm. of it so i went and bought the whole i have it until today wow it's a cassette i see Those days, it was just tapes, tapes so yeah. many yeah about 30 tips. Several tips Several in a tips. box. In the box. A white box. A white box and it's closed. <laughs> exactly. I have it today. I it's see. It's in my things. Yes. Wow. Yes. But you have the device to play the tip. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so right now I'm sure that they put it on a pen yes, drive. Yes, they are on pen drive. Drives. Uh, and yeah. I think that the way we have talked about it, I want to go and listen to that <laughs> message because it was too much. Yeah. It was too much. And then after the end of that conference, there was an impartation service. Oh my. We're not as big. Yeah. as it, it is now, yeah. but he thought he was standing on his feet for hours teaching yeah. on the cross. Wow. Uh, and he emphasized on the power of the cross mm. in relation to the redemption of mankind mm. and to evangelism. Wow. Yeah, he made it very well. Wow. And then wow. he sang, he sang, 
he, he sang songs on the cross. Mm. Uh, all, most of the songs that were raised in that conference were all, all songs by Andre Crouch mm. and all those people. All the song that he knows about the cross was sung during that conference. Wow. So, you know, because the cross is our redemptive image. Mm. Uh, anytime you talk about the cross, there's some power in it. Power is released. Uh, anytime you put on the cross, I mean, like Paul yes, said, I'm not yes, ashamed of the, the gospel. gospel. Yeah, yeah, it is the power Anytime of God. Anytime you are talking salvation. about the cross and the blood mm. and, the, and, the, and the how it flows and how it redeems mankind, mm. there's some release of God's. The, God gives the message of the cross more attention than mm. any other message Beautiful. that you want to preach. Beautiful. So I think he took his time, he prayed the Lord, God gave him that thing, and he just smashed it. And Beautiful. it became the most Hallelujah. outstanding mm. message of all time. Mm. And he himself is a strong believer of the cross. Yes. Ah, so I think it was his early stage in ministry. So he gave his all. Anybody who is listening to me should go and look for that tape. Yeah. And listen to the whole text. The, the, the power of the cross. The power of the cross is the power of the cross. cross. Yes. It's on pen drive now. And I'm sure it's so many years ago, mm. but I can assure you that it will still be as relevant mm. as it was then even till now because the measure of the cross hasn't changed yeah we can only add more mm. to the revelation mm. and its impact mm. uh is, is a phenomenon mm. so if you want me to specify it that would be one of the best the best basically. yes the best, that wow. i have ever had wow yeah. wow that, that's fantastic that's beautiful i mean the power of the cross as reverend steve has mentioned that has been very impactful to him and uh, he's explained what the cross does and the power of the cross relating to evangelism. Reverend Steve, yeah. there are various aspects of the ministry of evangelist Dagwood Mills, Prophet Dagwood Mills. We look at, when you look at the books ministry, I mean, several books in print, I think over, over 40 million has been in print. When you look at church growth, you know, and church proliferation, you can see that many, many, many churches in different countries, over 90 countries, over 4,000 churches in over 90 countries. When we come to the conferences, I mean, going around the world, raising up pastors and teaching pastors and equipping pastors and empowering pastors and all that. I believe we know several of them. Which of these areas, you know, would you say you would want to talk about which really has also been of great impact to you? I think that uh, he's done so many things. He has so many hats that mm. he's wearing. Mm. But the two main hats that he wears that impacts my life, that challenges me, is his ability to build and write books. It's wonderful. Yes, these are, to me, it's the two most important areas. Yeah. Infrastructure and mm. his writings. Mm. You know, that he's written so many books. I have all, there's no book he's written that I don't have. Mm. And there's no book that he has written that I haven't read. Mm. It's like, I, if I haven't read the full book at all, I have glanced through the book. Yeah. Every book, because when it comes out, I always get copies. Exactly. So either I read it all, I glance through just to get an idea of what he's talking about. And then, uh, I don't know how many ministers in this country or in the world who have visited uh, lighthouse churches like me. Mm. I may be one of, I've gone to his churches since 2000 and since, since, since he started. You've actually been to my <laughs> church and we've had some awesome time <laughs> yes. together. I've mm. been to Dodoa, I've been to name it, all those small, small churches, different sizes. I said, I've been there. Yeah. You know, and I've also been the foreign to churches foreign well. churches, US, UK, Tanzania, uh, Mozambique, uh, South Africa, Swaziland, name it, all over the places. And I can tell you that his ability to build is mm. the main thing. Yeah. He doesn't leave a church hanging in a classroom or, or exactly. some insignificant place. He will make sure that he's registered the presence of the church mm. with the building. Beautiful. And then also his books. If you go to any of his churches, you know, even uh, uh, Tanzania, in a small place, you yeah. see a, 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 a two by four room bookshop with all his books in it. His books are the only ones in it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. trying to say that the distribution of the books, the selling of the books, 
and the buildings mm. across the world is the two main aspects of his ministry that will forever remain with me as his greatest impact. Wow. And after the Lord has called him into glory, when he's above 120 or so, when he's tired of living. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> when he's tired of living, his books and the buildings will speak for eternity. Mm. Like I said, all the other parts are also very important. His clinic, his, his hospitals, his uh, orphanages, schools, they are all very important. Mm. To me, these are the two million, his churches and his books. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Like last night, I was listening to you on the Makane, and I was telling his audience that so far, it's about 15 million books yeah. across in the print. globe. Yeah, in print. And there uh, several languages, you know, and all that. So to me, this is going to be his legacy. The buildings and the books are going to be his legacy. Beautiful. Yes. yes wow. Yes, yes. Wow. Wow. And one of the things he does to me is that not only does he build the churches and write the books, he encourages everybody to who attend his conferences to build churches mm. and to write. Wow. You know, yeah. He is a great encourager. Yeah, that's what I want to do. To me, he has encouraged me in so many, many, many areas. I remember when I was starting my ministry, I had one single congregation. I was doing my rural evangelism. I was content. He would come to my church and preach. I would give him a topic to preach. We would set this topic aside. <laughs> he put the topic aside and tell me, Steve, why you must have branches? <laughs> 20 reasons why you must have branches. <laughs> you are, I have a team for, for, for my conference. You would put a, my team aside. He doesn't even know my team cry. Steve, why you must have branches? Have branches in London. Have branches in the U.S. Have branches wow. here. Have branches, wow. Steve. And he will come the following year and say, this is what we are doing. He will put it aside and talk about loyalty and branches. <laughs> For about, I don't know, six or seven years, he came to my meetings. That was all he was talking about. Today, I have branches in all the places oh, beautiful. that you can think of. Beautiful. The U.S., U.K., Sierra Leone, Liberia. I have churches all over the place. Beautiful. Because of that strong inspiration wow. like, because, I mean I'm not into branches at all I'm not <laughs> uh, when I said that I, I want to be very evangelistic not so. to rural areas and have a church but I said no send them Steve send them send them mm. Steve what are they doing here send them mm. Mm. and I followed him I said I'm sending you guys I'm sending you guys and you'll be preaching pointing my people you you must go to Cape Coast you must go here <laughs> you'll be pointing to my members you'll be sending my members while he's preaching <laughs> when I finished I said everywhere the prophet Whoever the prophet pointed to and where he mentioned, you are going there. That's it. It's a prophet that's it. So pack your bags, go. <laughs> you go. Keep close. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have Jesse in all the region. Oh, and oh. then also I'm trying to build everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Everybody have I said, look, build, build a church, build a church. Now, thank God that I said I don't build like, like your style. You have a standard style that you build. And for me, any design you come up with, that fits your area. That's it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, Reverend Steve, so who can come for this conference? Is it only for bishops? No, 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 no. Everybody who is in the church building must come because everybody is leading something. That's right. You are leading the people, you are leading your family, mm. you are leading the community, you are leading a church. Mm. Everybody is leading somebody. Mm. So I want to invite all to be part of this conference. Come in your numbers, register. The numbers are here for you to call. Uh, register now. Uh, it's Give Thyself Holy Conference. The contact numbers are plus 233-599-776767. I'm sure it'll be really on the screen. As I speak now, call this number and register and attend and your life will never, 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 never be the same. I have been part of the company from day one till date. And this one also, I'll be there. Yeah. Uh, the dates are out already. Agreed. Fortunately, I'm in the country. Yeah. So Please, the dates are out. What, 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 what I think are the, the dates, dates are second, second to the 5th of uh, August, August yes, 2022. Yeah. 2022. Right yeah. at Mampong. Mampong. Yes. Forget, right don't forget, Mampong. it's not at... Uh, Kodesh. Kodesh is yeah. at Mampo. Mampo. Can we go there? Have you expanded the building? Because we can't even fit at Kaneshi here. <laughs> we can't fit here. So we are going to be in all kinds of halls, halls and things. Well, it's always been awesome. It's always been fantastic. You yes, know? yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, like Reverend, like Reverend Steve said, it's coming up at Anakazu campus from the 2nd to the 5th of August. 2022 
You cannot afford to miss. You don't have to miss this conference. It's a conference for you. If you are a pastor, please, I want to encourage you. Encourage your church workers. Encourage your elders. Encourage your leaders. Encourage even your ordinary church members. Because this conference will be impactful on their lives. And it will also make your work much easier. Because as you hear, they will also hear. So when you communicate it, it will be so easy for them to understand. Remember, the venue again is Anakazo Campus in Mampong. The date is the 2nd to the 5th of August, 2022. 2022 is happening live right up there. Reverend Steve. Yes. Can you look into our cameras and speak to a pastor? you know, who possibly is struggling in ministry, who has never heard of this Give Thyself Holy Conference, which is now how I came to be anointed conference. Could you please look into the camera say, and just speak to somebody? I want to encourage anybody listening, watching, or whichever devices you are coming across on, on this interview or this discussion, that you, you must make it a must mm. to be there. It's a must. Clear your schedule during that week. Pack your bags. There are various types of accommodation all across. The prophet here has built more chalets, more exactly. dormitories, so there will be room for everybody. Register, be there, and just bring your top leaders, bring your workers, let them sit and hear. Not only will you hear, you will experience, mm. you will hear testimonies. Mm. And then you'll be exposed to these books. Mm. See, you will carry the conference messages plus the ones you have missed mm. because all these books have come out of conferences. Mm. The past one that you haven't been, oh, most of these books are all extracts from mm. the conferences. So you come get a whole Macarius pack plus your leaders and then start reading them. It will transform totally your life as a person, your church, and your personal ministry. And then it took the infrastructure at Mampo will challenge your vision yeah. for you to go and build something. Yeah. Leave that classroom, leave that small thing, and put more structures on the ground and, and, and do ministry. So I'm encouraging all pastors, all leaders, deacons, deaconess, and everything. Pack your bags, make yourself available during the second and, and the fifth of August. Be at Mampo and be part of uh how I came to be anointed conference. That is a whole mouthful. How I came to be anointed <laughs> conference. Used to be ISI. Then we went to give thyself holy, which I love. Now, how I came to be anointed. Whichever way, yeah. just sit there and your life will never be the same again. Reverend Steve, I cannot thank you enough for this precious moment we've had with you. It's yeah. been an awesome and a riveting time. Dear viewers, I think you've heard it all. It's coming off live from the 2nd to the 5th of August, 2022 at Mampong. How I came to be anointed conference. You cannot miss it for all the rise in China. This is all time will allow us. Until we come your way again, stay favored, stay blessed. Bye-bye.